The year is 2010. This was before the age of many games such as Minecraft and Skyrim. This was the age of Mass Effect 2, Bioshock 2, and Halo Reach, and of course, many many Let's Plays on YouTube. These were simpler times back then. Alright everyone, welcome to Happy Wheels. According to my age demographic, we were all young. That was nearly 10 years ago. Holy hell, I feel old. I'm sure you guys remember a bunch of YouTubers playing Amnesia the Dark Descent. People like Markiplier. And no, I'm not talking about this one. The Ku Klux Klan! This was pre-popular Markiplier. This was young and naive Markiplier. Wait, who's that handsome guy up in the corner? It me! Yeah, finally got my webcam. So you guys can see my looks of horror. And I cannot forget to mention, of course, PewDiePie. Welcome to Grunt's Castle by Flames 3. And of course, with all the good, there is the bad, and I am not going to name that YouTuber, but you know who he is. These YouTubers changed the gaming landscape. While this video isn't going to do that, it will pay tribute to these old Let's Plays videos while showing you how much fun I had playing Amnesia, and more importantly, how tedious it is to platinum. But before you guys leave a comment saying, Oh, Kanor, why are you playing this all this game? Well, it's kind of simple. I never actually played Amnesia Collection, and as for the content, I did watch videos back then, but the game, well, the sands of time are void in my memory completely of it. So today, journey with me into Amnesia the Collection's Platinum Trophy. Grab some snacks and journey with me into memory lane. I hope you guys enjoy. In the Amnesia Collection, there are three separate games that we have to play through. They all have their own unique trophies in them, so we definitely have to play these games. Uh, the first game is Amnesia The Dark Descent. You guys already know which one this is. This is the one with all the goofy characters and probably what you remember the most. Then there's Amnesia Justine. Amnesia yeah. Justine, I have no idea what this was going into it. Um, we're going to figure that one out as we go into it. Then there's Machine for Pigs, Amnesia Machine for Pigs. Um, some of you guys might know what that is, some of you guys might not. Not, but we're gonna also yeah, jump into that. Baby. We're gonna play the Dark Descent first, the Machine for Pigs, then we're gonna jump into right to Justine. The amount of trophies that there are from all three collective games goes as the following. I believe it's 22 off the top of my head. Um, there's a little pop up right here if there is. And we're just gonna jump into the first game. As soon as we jump into Amnesia the Dark Descent, we're hit with two different difficulties, Hard Mode and Normal Mode. Um, hard Mode, there's no reason for us to play it because we don't need to play it for the Platinum Trophy. Also, we waste Tinder Boxes and it might affect this trophy right here. Fuck this trophy, by the way, I absolutely hate this trophy because all you have to do is gather every single Tinder Box in Amnesia the Dark Descent, which is a pain in the ass and I just used a guide to find it, but just be on the lookout for us doing that later. To add a little bit of context of the story, um, when we immediately begin, we get a little monologue in the background the entire time, and it turns out that we're some guy named Daniel, and we have this thing called the Shadow, which is hunting him, and he needs to hurry, and he has pretty much amnesia, as the name title suggests. We awaken to this weird castle, and we have to follow this purple, uh, I guess, wine trail, um, in order to find our first item, which is a lantern, which is our ability to be able to actually see. Um, I'm very glad they did not call it a torch, because for some reason, every British game or any other game like that calls it a torch. After finding the lantern for the first time, um, I finally had light, so I was able to actually see. Um, this game has a sanity meter, by the way, so if the game gets blurry at all, no, it's not your bit rate going down. You're not watching this in 380p. Um, it's just because at points in time, I had no sanity whatsoever. There's also monsters that can pop up out of nowhere and disappear based off of your sanity, which I think is really cool and unique. And anyway, I wander around until I eventually uh, run out of fuel and decide to quit the game and change difficulty. Yeah, we're going to do that. <laughs> Look, I got the achievement. Nope. That's what things were getting. 
Yeah, the trophy nope is just for quitting out of the game. We found oil, so I was able to actually use my lantern even more, and we were able to find a secret entrance hidden beneath the bookcase, and we were able to regress even further. I had no idea what this was, you know what I mean? I didn't even know there's secret entrances and everything like that. So, I, how was I even supposed to see that in the darkness? I, <laughs> I really couldn't. We entered the entrance hall, and we have another flashback where we're slowly regaining our memory, and at this point in time, we have to go to the refinery and make a chemical in order to stop this weird, I don't know, blob thing, whatever the hell, it's blocking our way, and we need to burn it with acid. We try to go through the front door, and well, the front door really wasn't a way for us to escape. It couldn't have been as easy as that. Now let's dip right out. That's a no. I was gonna ask if we could leave, I guess. But nope. We head to the laboratory to see what kind of chemicals we can make in order to actually make this acid that we need to progress, and um, keep in mind that we have to collect every note in the game for a trophy called Master Archive. Oh, I can't believe there are so many stupid trophies in this game. We have to actually collect them. It makes me so mad. It makes me so annoyed. Because honestly, they're not hard, it's just annoying. So I follow a guy the entire time. Anyway, we get this little jar that's going to be uh, useful to make acid. And in order for us to get the acid, we have to find other chemicals inside the refinery, I believe it's what it's called, or inside another room. Um, we head to the archives to see what we can find in there. And we end up finding a whole bunch of nonsense, a whole bunch of abandonment we get another cutscene where we are remembering some orb that has to do with the darkness and this is going to be coming into play a lot later um and you guys if you already know you already know if not i will explain it later that we want this orb at some point there was this little puzzle we had to do with these books and we had to just time them right in order to get our next item which i believe it was a key um i threw a chair out of frustration because that took me way longer than i need to and now we're finally able to head into the wine cellar and find the chemicals that we needed Finally heading and making progression, because goddamn, it takes forever. After grabbing all the chemical compounds that we needed, we finally made our way. But not after me making a PewDiePie reference. Barrel! Barrel! Look, guys, it's the barrel! Ah, oh my god, it's the barrel! Oh my god, I'm PewDiePie from back in like 2009, 11, 12, I don't know. But guys, look, it's the battle! I have a Swedish accent, all the battle, I love you battle. Finally, I'm able to make the acid that we need, and this is going to give us a trophy for making this progression, but not after I make a comment about it. Is this Nickel- did we just brew Nickelodeon slime? Let's go, Alchemist, trophy unlocked! Alright, this is why I said refinery earlier by accident, because that was our goal that we needed to get to, and this is where I'm going to have to stop you guys. This is where we encounter the monster, the grunt as what they call it, but he has a name. This grunt does have a name, and his name is Sergio. And Sergio, well, he's kind of looking for love. Um, he's a nice, uh, thoughtful guy. I don't think he's, he's misunderstood, and he really just wants to find love, and in Daniel, he could find that love, but we have to let him embrace us. But yeah, that's Sergio. Sergio's looking for love, and that's the whole reason why he's on us the way he is. My boy! Oh my god! Ah! Oh, I, I, okay, I thought that was... I thought I had schizophrenia. Oh, oh shit! Oh, oh, fuck! Oh my god, I, I actually... Oh my god, he's ear raping me! Oh my god! Is he still behind me? I think he's good. I think he's good. Hey, you little nerd. Hey, you little nerd! Oh god, go, 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 go! What am I doing? What am I doing? I'm just being stupid. I'm 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 being stupid. He doesn't like the light. He doesn't like the light. Oh my god, he doesn't give a shit. He doesn't care. Oh, think before running. What was I supposed to do? Sergio, stop messing about with me, Sergio. I'm not playing games, Sergio. I got a bear on. As as I did to be a beauty pie. I got the bear on. Okay, okay, I'm I'm literally tweaking. I'm I'm literally sick. Stop! Stop! David, stop! Why are you skitting? I'm about to pass out. I'm drunk. Oh my god, I'm Sergio did not like the way we handled him at all. Um he thought we were making fun of him for being ugly, even though we we, the viewer, find him beautiful, but Daniel, he, I don't know what Daniel thinks about him. Daniel has amnesia, he doesn't really know what to think. After doing a couple puzzles, and we head to the next section, which is the cellar archives, which there is a water monster in this point. There's a water monster. We have to just parkour our way to this. Here we got it, we got it, we got it. Can we open this? 
Oh, the damn thing was doing. We used the dismembered bodies in order to evade uh, successfully the water monster, and for us finally getting through him, we get a trophy in the process for escaping him. Oh, my man's feasting upon that uh, this is a fucking month segment. Why is there a month segment here? Why is there. Jump! You will fool! The water beast is trying to eat me! Pause! Ah! No, 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 no! I don't even see the hunt. I think I'm a. I think I'm doing good. Oh my god. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Get in there! Get in! Ah! All right, now we're in a new area. We have a bunch of exploring to do. There's so much more danger that can be had here. Also, I hit this super cool jump. Yeah, I do like a speed run jump right here to get to the storage room. In the storage room, there's a bunch of parts that we need, including tinder boxes. We need drill parts. We need to make a bomb in here. Um, I didn't realize what to do there the entire time. But more importantly, after we get the parts we need, we encounter Sergio once again. <gasps> Sergio, my boy! Damn, Sergio's thick. You see Sergio? That's my boy right there. Sergio! I like the lantern. Shoot, shoot. I'm gonna throw a barrel at him so bad. Yo, Sergio! Remember, you killed me, you bastard! Take that! Yeah, you little nerd! You want, a, you want another one? Oh my god! He fucking books it at you! Hide, 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 hide! Oh god, he's hitting me from the back! You can't see me, you can't see me, you can't see me, please, please go away. Oh no, no, I'm dead, I'm dead. Sergio, please! I, I promise I didn't mean to do it, it was just a prank, bro, it was just a prank! Ah, uh, you can't get me up here, Sergio, you dumbass. You stupid idiot. You think, you, you think you're top cheese? You think you're the top dog? Take that, Sergio, you little bastard! Yeah, come get me. Yeah, I'm standing on something you can't get up to. Yeah, look at that. Look at your little beady eyes. Yeah, yeah, run away, it's shame. Oh my god! <laughs> I fucking... I didn't... I thought he got up there. Up, oh, up. Oh, Sergio. No, please. What you put in my drink, Sergio? My diet, Dr. Kelp. Sergio, what you put in it? Man, what? What is going... I end up goofing off so much. I don't know how I broke Sergio's AI. I guess he's so mesmerized by Daniel's luscious looks. Um, I know that I'm getting lost in his beady eyes, but I end up messing around with Sergio way too much and longer than I need to. Who will break first? Me! Oh god, oh god. Sergio, chill! Chill! How the hell did I get up here originally? He's tweaking! He doesn't know where to go! <laughs> I broke his AI already. I'm a god at these games. Look at him, look at his AI, look at Look at Sergio! He doesn't know what to do! <laughs> like, he's frustrated! He's like, stop laughing at me! Yeah, you little nerd! Honestly, if I made this video back in 2012, the next thing I'm about to do would be an MLG moment amnesia moments video. <laughs> Just eating around. How the hell did I get up here? Oh no, 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 he learned, he learned, he learned! Get up there, get up there! Yeah, yeah, you dork. Oh god, run, run, I can't see anything. I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead here. Oh, oh, get parkour on! Oh, yo, I just broke your ankle so good. Dude, I just fucking destroyed you, Sergio. You got fucking shitted on. I have to do something, you know what I mean? Like, I'm just kind of... What if I go... Oh god. Hey, <laughs> Sergio. I'm stuck. I right, listen, I'm sorry. All the things I said to you. Sergio, no! Please! Sergio, please! I'm literally crying, I'm stuck! I'm stuck, I didn't mean it, I didn't mean it. Listen, Sergio, please, come back! I didn't mean, please, Sergio, don't leave me! Sergio! You son of a bitch! Well, I guess I have to do a hard reset. I can't get out of here. I really, I, I know how to break these horror games. I, I don't know what compels me to break them, but I break them every time. In order for me to get unstuck, Sergio was not helpful. Um, he was really mad at us for making fun of him. And yeah, we pretty much had to reload.
Due to the fact I had no idea where to go, I end up heading to the guest room. In the guest room, um, there is a key that we need to progress further. We use a crowbar to open this door, and Sergio appears out of nowhere, so we have to hide in the closet away from Sergio. Um, I like this part a lot because it built a lot of tension, and just seeing Sergio um, just walk away slowly and walk in was probably the funniest thing I've ever witnessed and got on film. I don't know, it's just something so funny about this goofy ass man. But anyway, we eventually got the key, which was hidden beneath a painting, which took me way longer than um, I care to admit in order to uh, get this key, which was also in a bottle. And then we head up to the machine room. But before we do that, we finally get into the study. What the hell? Come back, demon! Okay, I didn't mean to do that. Ooh. My fault. Just... No, no, we're not gonna do it. We're not gonna do it. Not even if it's for a bit. Oh, shit! <laughs> I was gonna jump up on tread carefully. No shit. So we need to actually get a bunch of tools for the machine room that we haven't got. So we need to go make that bomb right away. So we have to go back where Sergio was in the beginning. No, not the guest room. The other room where he jump scared us. And well, he was there and he was waiting. Are you fucking kidding me, Sergio? I just wing my whip, ankles broken, Sergio. Get them cheeks clapped, boy. Oh my god, he's right up my ass. I'm sorry, Sergio. Holy shit. Ah, Sergio, I'm fucking sorry. Ah, God. Okay, I gotta calm down, calm down, calm down. Get on here. He doesn't know we're here. We're chilling. We're chilling. Sergio, please, please. Sergio, please. I'm not gonna lie, with the power of editing, thank god you guys don't have to uh, see me struggle so much to figure things out, because eventually, after clicking on a bunch of stuff, I figured out that you can actually combine the drill parts to make the hand drill, and you use the hand drill in order to get this oil that's in here, and you put a bottle there in order to make an explosive. And you use the explosive in order to clear this uh, debris, this rocks here, um, you have to throw something at it, and I end up almost getting killed in the process of it because I thought I didn't do it right, but yeah, we encounter Sergio once again. Nope. Be a man is overrated. Be a man is overrated. He is standing out there. Being a man is over. Oh my. Hey, 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 that's my door. Why are you fucking up my door, Sergio? Yo, you're really fucking up the economy. Yeah, but you know how much it cost me for that? You, you little bitch! Get out of here! Go, 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 go! Again with this? What? I'm stacking this. You can't get in here, dumbass. Oh god, you can just move. Ah, take that, nerd! Take that again! Oh god, the pigs are in my way! Ah! Screw you, Sergio! Eat a dick! Eat a dick, Sergio! Go, 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 go! Oh, fuck, Sergio. I was just playing, big bro. Ah, you asshole! You went through my shit! Take that, you little bitch! Ah! There's two Sergios! Let's enter this in slow-mo. If you look on the bottom right corner of the screen, you can see I'm getting hit by another Sergio. There was two Sergios! <laughs> Get out of my way, Sergio, you little bitch. <gasps> we got him. After a bunch of puzzle solving that we needed to do, we finally were able to get the machine room, or the machine, aka the elevator. We were able to get the elevator working, which was in the machine room. Um, I'm not gonna bore you with me doing those puzzles, it took me way longer. Um, after finally descending, even though I guess we wanted to ascend, I have no idea, we get a trophy in the process called Descent. Between the pine trees as the carriage approached the castle, a faint memory of reflections in the wind. <laughs> Fucking Sergio, you gotta be kidding me, Sergio. Alright, I'll go back in my little prison cell. I'm just gonna do a jump cut here because you guys don't need to see me collect a bunch of items for a half hour. And, um, Sergio really got me good. Sergio, eat my asshole. Sergio, you're a bitch on God. Eat my whole pussy. Yeah, eat it. Eat it. Yeah, break it. Dude, it's metal. How are you gonna break that open? Okay. Can you just break it? Nope, 
Nope, nope, nope. All right, now we're heading to the sewer section. Um, I guess this is the first section of the sewer section where we have to do a bunch of pipe work, and this actually earns us a trophy called Pipe Worker. Now, what Pipe Worker is, only 7.5% of players got it. God damn, that's actually shocked to me. But Pipe Worker is, all we have to do is lower the water level to reveal a new way out and an easier the dark descent. This is super easy to do. It's just a much more puzzle solving that we have to do. You put a bunch of pieces together all over the place and you really want to just repair everything and eventually you'll get the trophy pipe worker. Okay. Let's go pipe worker. We head into the new area and well there's a bunch of corpses everywhere and there's a bunch of stuff going on and this is where we encounter a new enemy a new monster type and this absolutely shocks the hell out of me. Oh! What the fuck is that? Oh shit! Don't make me shit like that! Oh my god! Get out! Oh come on! This is it, Sergio. This is Urgio. Urgio, get away from me, please! Come on! All right, all right, let's... Yeah, yeah, back away. What are you gonna do about it? What are you gonna do about it? Come on, Urgio! Urgio, you're not better than Sergio. Urgio, the the surgeon. Urgio, the surgeon. Yeah, get out of here, Urgio. Yeah, what are you gonna do about it? Yo. Hey, Sergio. I said relax. Ah! I said relax, Sergio! It one shot at me! So it looks like Urgio is replacing Sergio. Hopefully we get to see Sergio again. Um, I hate to break it to you, Urgio did something really bad to Sergio. What the hell? No! No! They killed my boy! Daniel. Turn around That's my boy instant. Sergio! You are carrying the shadow with you! Ow! Thank you, my boy Sergio! Sergio's dead! Here, I'll put you back together, Sergio! No! Sergio's a monster! I'll put it back together! There you go, he's back together. At least you're whole, Sergio. Can we can we get We gotta pour one out for the for Sergio? I can't let you I can't let your death be in vain. You're coming with me, Sergio. Me and you together forever. Me and Sergio are in this for the win. You son of a bitch. Sergio! Attack up, Sergio! I did not care that Urgio was in my way. I was bringing Sergio to safety, even though it's half of him. I'm bringing him to safety no matter what. Um, by the way, be prepared for some cringe. Um, I wanted to add this in there because why not? A little bit of cringe never hurt. Hey, uh, it's a, uh, hey, it's a me, uh, Sergio. It's a me, that's uh, Sergio. Uh, I may be dead, but I live forever in your hearts. Why do I have this accent? Why do I have an Italian accent? Why does my Italian accent not sound Italiano? I don't know, Sergio, why doesn't it? All oh, because it's under me, not Sergio. It doesn't matter. Look at me. Just look at me. It's under me, Sergio. It doesn't matter if my accent's Italiano or not. I am a true... Uh, Italiano. Ah, uh, Ombiaccio. I, I'm, I, I learned that word from Assassin's Creed. I don't even know if that's a real word. Oh, uh, uh, listen, Thor, you have to make it for me. <coughs> so you have the Italian accent. I, 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 the bastard urge you took it from me. That son of a bitch. You gotta get it back for me. Don't worry, don't worry, Sergio. I'll leave you right here. Listen, Sergio, I love you. I'll never forget what you've done for me. I love you too, Kanor. You gotta, you gotta make it for me. Sergio, I'll make it for you, I promise. I promise. See this ugly man right here? This guy is called Agrippa. He's important for the story of the game. He's the key to unlocking one of the other endings and AKA another trophy in the process of this. But that's nowhere near as important as this discovery that I made going through the map and this pertains to Sergio. Find a way. What the hell? Why are we in a Mortal Kombat's fucking crypt now? <gasps> He's back! My boy! Sergio! Now look at that you beautiful booty! It's more voluptuous than Urgio's. Sergio, you live! It doesn't matter. My boy. It's just a myth after all. My boy! Sergio! My boy! Oh my god, Sergio! I know you Sergio! Sergio, I love you! Sergio, give me a hug! Ah! <laughs> but 
I loved you. Fucking Sergio sacrificed me. You monster. Oh, everything I did for you, you bastard. I will have my revenge against you, Sergio, you son of a bitch. Our goal is to free Agrippa. Agrippa wants us to make a potion that will let us cut off his head and be able to actually still live. By the way, this guy knows some crazy ass alchemy, alchemy level 100. We do a little bit of parkouring and puzzle solving along the way, and we go to gather orb pieces. We need these to progress in order to get to Alexander, and we grab a bunch of uh, ingredients for the alchemy that Agrippa wants to do on top of that. There's a segment where you have to actually go to these uh, ex-torture areas, and a piece of an orb will appear. Uh, we'll use this to actually be able to craft the full orb, and on my way back, with the full orb in hand, um, we end up having either the worst thing happen to us or the best thing happen to us, depending on perspective. jumped sergio really didn't want daniel to leave um aka us he didn't want us to leave he loved us so much and and he's a servant of alexander um so we actually have to escape in a prison cell and we have to do this little puzzle segment right here um and then there's actually a running segment where the shadow or the darkness is ch chasing you some edgy crap like that if you allow yourself to be eaten by this you get a trophy called quitter um so let yourself allow to be getting eaten by this it's not another ending or anything like that it'll just reload your save immediately right after that so you might as well do it Finally, we're able to grab the last ingredient, and we're able to use all of our ingredients in order to make this potion for Agrippa. Um, this little area was not actually unlocked. The only way you can get to this area is after you escape from your cell, where Sergio ends up, uh, you know, capturing you and all that whatnot. So you actually cut off Agrippa's head, and I thought he was just gonna die outright when I played this, and he doesn't. He actually lives, even though he tells you he's gonna live. I just thought that was bullshit. And then we finally make our way to Alexander while placing the orb to the objective to begin with we get an achievement in the process there called restorer and alexander i have him in a certain angle this weird ass angle because this man has his dick out all right this man's cock is out and i don't feel like having to censor every single angle so if you can see weird angles that's the reason why we get three trophies for letting alexander uh live and go to the new dimension and for agrippa and for killing him all three different endings fuck you alexander Yes! I got you, Agrippa! I don't like this area, asshole. Fuck him, I wanna see the ending with Agrippa. There's only one good ending, I think, for our main protagonist, Daniel, is if you let Agrippa enter the new dimension. Yeah, it's a whole different dimension world. Um, he saves Daniel from the darkness, both other endings, Daniel dies and succumbs to the darkness. Now, our goal for the last trophy we need for this game is to collect all tinder boxes, and that is it. <laughs> I'll be really honest with you, Amnesia the Dark Descent still holds up horror wise in 2024. This game was absolutely amazing. I give it a 10 out of 10, sub bros out of 10. I hope a machine for pigs is going to be as good as this game, because this game was fucking incredible. Amnesia, a machine for pigs. This game starts off very weird. Now, this game doesn't start off with a monologue or anything. Obviously, your main character has amnesia. That's the whole purpose of the game. Every single one of these games in the series, we have amnesia to some degree. It's in the fucking name. All right, we find a lantern. Um, this lantern actually isn't world powered base. It's actually, I guess, battery powered base. I don't know. It's running on Duracell or some shit. Um, I end up screwing around the entire time. I had no idea what was going on in the story in the beginning. Uh, we're a guy. We had, we have two kids. We don't know where they're at. That's it. I end up breaking the game right away. 
way uh, by throwing a bunch of chairs in the conveyor belt. Also, we're really rich too, our main character. Not in real life, obviously. I mean, come on. <laughs> but we're really rich in the game. And so I just threw all the chairs away. I end up completely breaking the game in the process of this. Um, it has nothing to do with the story. I just wanted to show you how, how quick I was able to fuck everything up. But it's in the ground even deeper. Wait, wait. Okay. Oh, it's back. Hey, we got the chair back. Let's go. Look, look how many chairs we got. I think they actually despawned some of my chairs. I had like 10 down there. Out of here. We ended up finding out we have a secret facility underneath our house, so we ended up heading to it, um, thus earning us a trophy in the process of that. As soon as we entered, we encountered our very first monster, and obviously, it's going to be a pig. Oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't even that scary, I, just, I wasn't expecting it. I'm gonna be really honest with you, this is probably going to be the shortest one of these uh, games. One, it's super easy to get all the trophies, because all you have to do is progress throughout the story. And two, on top of it, it's super linear, and the puzzle solving is not that hard whatsoever. We end up heading into a church, though. All hail the mighty pig. As we're inside the church, we also have to collect a bunch of notes the entire time for a machine for pigs, so keep that in mind as we go forward. We end up finding a secret passage that was where the pigs, the holy pigs, pigus, pigus? Pig, pig Jesus, pretty much, <laughs> it was hiding, and we ended up heading into another section where we end up heading into the machine room, and I'm assuming we're housing a bunch of pigs here, and we're kind of trying to use them as slaves. I don't know what's going on, really, with this game. There's a lot, of, it's very confusing, if I'm really honest with you, especially looking back on it, but we encountered another pig, and he was not friendly, he didn't like us at all, and then we head into a sewer section of the game. By the way, it feels like I'm jump cutting a lot, because there wasn't really a lot going on. Like I said, very linear game. It was very weird, especially compared it to the Dark Descent. But there's a bunch of pigs feasting, and this is where we have a bunch of pigs that are being held captive. And yeah, this is pretty much what happened with that. You okay, my man? There are more. I'm gonna go in here. Is there more in here? Oh shit! It turns out that our main character, um, there's this machine that wants to end up uh, killing the world or killing everybody in the world, and he's going to use these mutated pigs in order to ascertain that goal, and he unleashes them throughout the world. As we progress further into this area, we end up getting a trophy to enter the next area. It turns out actually that our main character, um, was behind all of this. He actually was the mastermind. He ended up getting amnesia through some, uh, I don't know, indirect means, uh, mainly because he couldn't cope with the loss of his kids, because it turns out that his kids died and he sacrificed them in order to power this machine in the process. We also ended up fighting a Bioshock pig too, a boss battle pig. Electric pig, electric pig, Bioshock, Bioshock, big daddy pig, big daddy pig. Yep. By the way, our character finally comes to the conclusion that he's going to save the world and that the way he was looking at everything was stupid, and so he ends up hooking himself up to this machine to prevent the pigs from actually being able to kill everybody in the world, and he ends up dying in the process, I'm assuming. Um, I'm gonna be real honest with you guys, I really couldn't follow the story that much because it was kind of all over the place, so comment below if I'm wrong about it at all, and I'll pin that comment, whoever gets it right, I, I'm assuming, I'm gonna wiki check you guys, but that's pretty much um, me machine for pigs um we get a trophy in the process for doing all this stuff too as well and i'm gonna be really honest with you guys this is probably one of the worst amnesia games i've played so far mainly because of how linear it was it had so much promise it, i thought it was going to be dark descent 2 um it was absolutely not like that at all its story was good and captivating from what i could understand of it but overall the gameplay was slow and the horror aspects were not as fun as they could have been that's why it's only five minutes I played this, and I just didn't really give a fuck about it to begin with. But we ended up getting a trophy in the process of that, which was nice, so we're done with this game. <sighs> only one word could be said about Amnesia Machine for Pigs, and it's disappointing. 
It is the most disappointing game I've played in terms of amnesia in comparison to Dark Descent. I give it a 3 out of 10. It was that bad. Hopefully Justine can make up for the slack that Amnesia Machine for Pigs did. Our last and final game is Amnesia Justine. Now this one I have no idea what's it about. Um, I guess when I was going into it, I thought it was about a girl named Justine. That's all I knew about it. Machine for Pigs, I knew there were pigs. In Dark Descent, I knew there was a weird looking monster thing. But this, I had no idea. We pretty much start the game off trapped inside a holding cell. Once again, we have Amnesia. I mean, come on guys, it's the fucking title of the game. If you guys didn't expect that, I don't know what you're thinking. Anyway, there's these little like xylophones or whatever the hell they're called. I, I have these old timey things that you used to listen to radio on. Well, there's a voice talking to us and it's going to give us trials where we have to actually either choose whether somebody lives or die. And well, I'm gonna be honest, the ambiance for this game is actually pretty good and kind of got me a little nervous. All right. What the fuck? Okay, somebody's geeking already. We encounter our first and only monster for this one, and it is somebody's grandpa with PTSD. Um, I have to censor a lot what he does because his cock is out also. Um, this is where we choose whether this guy lives or dies. Um, there's a bunch of segments like that, and this is ultimately what my decision was. Man. Oh, oh, oh. oh shit, he's dead. I killed him. Oh, stop. No, I could have freed him. Oh well. Funny enough that if you choose for these people to die, there's three trophies by the way. Uh, one if you make sure nobody dies, one if you make sure everybody dies, and one if you have a blend in between. Um, you actually get a shortcut and you don't have to do a long puzzle or figure out a puzzle um, if you just let these people die and you're able to progress in the story really quickly. This is probably one of the shortest uh, amnesia games I've played by the way, but damn it was good the entire time. It kept me in suspense. Grandpa was scary as shit to deal with and he was kind of a menace throughout the entire run and I was on edge. He got through it. How the fuck did you get through that? Grandpa's strong. This is our third and last victim. I believe there's only three. Um, if you pretty much go into a circle and close that off, the grandpa guy, grandpa won't kill him at all, and you actually end up saving him. I thought this would kill him. Um, we end up getting to another one of the xylophone things, or whatever the hell they're called. I'm probably saying it wrong. And we have our ultimate test to determine what we did, and we get three trophies for being each ending. Oh! This. There's also a secret portal reference, which is another trophy in the process of this. This one's easy, just read this note and you get a portal themed trophy. Aha! Shipment slip. Hey, still alive! To explain the story to you, pretty much we learned that the person you're playing as is Justine, and she had amnesia, she gave herself a potion to forget about things, so she can test her moral compass if she is either a good person or a bad person, based off of X merits and all that. Um, nothing really changes for each ending, by the way. Um, there's just ghosts talk to you, or if they don't talk to you, and pretty much you just let everybody live, or you let everybody die, or just make sure three. Nothing really changes for the end, but I really did like the twist that you were playing as Justine, the girl who was on the xylophone, or whatever the hell thing, the entire time. And that is pretty much the end of Justine. Ultimately, what did I think of Justine? I actually thought Amnesia Justine, I give it 9 out of 10 Sergio's Tinder profiles. Um, I think it was way better than Machine for Pigs. The only issue why it's not a 10 out of 10, in my opinion, it's due to the fact that how short it is. This game was actually absolutely incredible. Grandpa was on my ass the entire time, but it was too short for my liking. Our last and final trophy is we have to head back to Machine for Pigs, oh my god, which I hate, and find every single note. It's called Master Archivist. We did it for a Dark Descent, now we're doing it for Machine for Pigs to get the Platinum Trophy. Teddy Bear. Ah, oh, you go. Yes, I got it! Oh, Platinum Trophy, baby! Let's fucking go! 
Oh, I'm so relieved to be done with this Platinum Trophy video. This game, oh man, it dragged with this collectibles. Let me know in the comments if you guys want me to play Rebirth and The Bunker and Platinum it and make a video for you guys. Let me know in the comments. As always, thank you so much for sticking to the end of the video. I love every single one of you. I have a bunch of more content coming out soon. And until next time, this is Kenor signing off. Bye!